fellow Cancerians. I just saw this cute little posting of a little crab swimming around and I was like, is that what we look like? Is that what we look like when we're trying to look tough? <laughs> Adorable? Oh God. Isn't that sad that people underestimate us that much? All right, Cancerians, let's get into it. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Um, ah, please click subscribe, help the channel grow. And uh, ring that bell so you know when I go live and upload all the content. This is your full tarot card spread. And of course, there's always an extended. Um, I'm sorry, this is your full oracle card spread. And there's always an extended. And the link for that is below, which includes your romantic predictions for the week ahead. So, hmm, this is a reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, but not only that, we're, it's a Cancerian energy reading. So wherever the energy is... Uh, wherever cancer influences your natal chart, these you can apply these energies for the next seven days. Remember, if it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. Cancer, 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 cancer. A bunch of cards have already come out, but I want to know if we get a flipper to see what is the... Hmm. Cancer. 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 Mm. You're hiding. Yeah, you're hiding. You feel honestly I think you feel like like the little crab <laughs> that I saw today check out my Instagram feed if you want to if you want to see the video that I was talking about but I honestly feel like you're, you're you're swimming you're swimming you're swimming you're struggling but you honestly feel like you're treading water you feel like you don't have any direction and you feel like you've basically been let down you kind of feel like you've been abandoned by spirit and that you're just out here on your own improvising stuff because you you don't have a direction you don't feel a real steady course set in you kind of feel like you're sort of a little bit flotsam <laughs> just hanging out there being pushed about by the waves which could very very well mean you're very very emotional this week um what I like about this energy is that even though you don't feel, and we do, see, we, we, we need to feel, right? We need to feel connected. Our, our feelings are how we feel connected. But there's almost like this, this cutoff for some, in, in some respect uh, right now. It could be the Aquarian energy, you know, that very intellectual cold energy that's, that's not ha helping us feel, or at least when the, the, the moon is in Aquarius. At least it's not helping us connect the way that we need to. So we almost like, it's almost like, all right, we're just going to keep going and we'll just figure it out along the way. That's the positive part of this energy. This is energy of, even though I don't know where I'm going, even though I don't even know if spirit approves, I'm just going to, I've just got to keep walking. Like, it's just like, it's like wandering around in the dark that's what it feels like it really does feel like that or at least we think we are it doesn't necessarily mean at least we feel we are it doesn't necessarily necessarily mean that we are but it does sort of imply that maybe we are sort of bumping around in the dark and like doing and and, and not having any kind of connection or real direction and <clears throat> the energy here or the implication is maybe it's us it's 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 we just need to choose we need to make a choice and and understand that whatever choice we make is a good decision it could be just spirit is like no you direct me and you're like no spirit you direct me and the spirit's like but no you need to direct me because you're a cardinal energy and that's why i gave you the energy and the soul that i gave you <clears throat> was to forge new paths it's like you make the decision and you go and i'll be there in the background being your shadow and supporting you Oh, you heard that? You heard that, right? That's the feeling. It's like we are so emotional. We want to feel that emotional connection all the time. But there is this energy of 
really needing to be out in front and be leading. And, and yeah, you know, you felt that I know you have that it's everybody connects to us emotionally, everybody, they could drain us emotionally, but like, who do we connect to? It's almost like we're too emotional to really feel completely comfortable being as cardinal as we are, but we are, it really is our design, our life designation to be out in front blazing that path and I think right now it's a it feels like we're just going around in circles and bumping our you know what's into the ground and there's a there's that there's that horrible sense of feeling completely cut off and like spirit has abandoned us that's how it feels but then there's that other sort of very cardinal sense to us which is but we're going to keep going anyway and that's what we don't realize is that spirit has not forgotten us and it is not disconnected from us it's like Hey, little crab, you make the decision and whatever direction you go, I'm going to, I'm going to include that on your path. I'm, I'm going to be there and supporting you. So it really just is up to us to make the decision, Cancerians, this week. What do we want? What is it? Decide what it is that really makes you happy. Now, um, I would stay away from deciding it's this specific person that makes me happy. No. Love, romance, um, connection, marriage. That's what makes me happy. That's what I want in my life. Okay, then how many dates a week are you going to go on? You know, how many how many dating websites are you going to sign yourself up for? Or how many speed dates or how many meetup groups? Like if that's your, your whole goal in life is to be married with children, then what are you going to do to get there, right? And, and how are you going to make sure that you're meeting quality people? etc etc you know what I'm saying that's that's the energy it's not lower your standards and just grab the first one that comes along or the obsessive the obsession that you've had over your ex because you can't let that go you feel like that tether to the past is secure no what you want is a loving faithful relationship what you need to let go of is anything in the past and you need to start setting plans for how am I going to get that into my life but this is an energy of even though we feel like spirit has completely and totally abandoned us, spirit is actually just shadowing us and standing behind us and saying, you choose the path and we'll be there to help you pave it. That's what it's saying. So let's keep going. Um, time to let go, like I just discussed. Something has been eating away at your heart. Something has been hurting you, harming you, and keeping you under, keeping you, dragging you under. Because remember, groundhog is that energy of underneath, underneath the earth. So something has been really dragging you down. And, and this is the truth transcends illusion. It's Aquarius energy upside down which is we don't feel like that there we don't we don't we don't know any truth you know what i'm saying we we don't we feel like we're still this is a feeling though this is our grounding energy is still the feeling of being lost in the dark bumping ourselves around in the dark that's what it is it's like we feel like we're surrounded by illusions and we don't like the feeling because we're not delusional but we just don't know the way forward it's like being stuck in a fog right and I've been feeling that a lot lately. And this is my, you know, cancer senses going off like crazy. Time to let go. Let go of what's hurting you. Let go of what's harming you. Let go of these emotional judgments on yourself. Like spirit doesn't care about me. I'm not being supported. All of those things are things that we have to decide to not think. Because they're not the truth. They're our perception of people's behavior. But sometimes I think that we do that. We perceive things that way to feel more in control. Because it's easier to understand something that's black and white and cut and dry. Than it is to open ourselves to the nuances and the realities. And remember, if somebody is working against you, that still means that you matter to them. If somebody is backstabbing you or betraying you, it still puts you in the limelight and makes you important, you know? So even though it's, it's saying that somebody is harming us, they're still after us. We're still important enough to be attacked, right? It's like, we don't all walk around with secret service every day. Only the president does. You know what I'm saying? It's like, because, well, their job is more important than everyday Joe Schmoes. It still gives you that sense of importance to believe that somebody is really out to get you. They're not. They're not. In fact, nobody is out to get you. In fact, that gray, that fog up ahead is the universe and full potential. And even though it's not pretty and it's, not, and it's only your fear that's making it into something bad, right? 
it really, if you get down, get through that fear and you think, oh, this isn't fog, this is a blank canvas and I'm gonna paint whatever I want on it. This is trailblazing, that's what it is. And this is creation and manifestation and cardinal signs are master manifestors. That's what we are. So it's really interesting how this Aquarian energy is bringing out that really harsh truth. Yes, Cantarians are emotional, we're moody, we're empathic, all those things, we're psychic, all those things that we always talk about, but we're cardinal. We're cardinal, we're cardinal, we're cardinal. And Aries and Capricorn grab that cardinal bull by the horns all the time as if they were the only cardinal signs that exist in the zodiac. But Cancerians and Libras are cardinal signs too. We may be more subtle, but we are still expected to harness that cardinal energy and be um, trailblazers. And that's sort of that harsh truth that's making, I think, a lot of Cancerians uncomfortable today. Uh, these uh, for the next couple of days or comfortable right uncomfortable right now but the wonderful the wonderful truth about it is all you have to do is decide what is it that you want what is it and just go that way and I know there's this thing of claim your independence claim your independence there's something that's hurting you or harming you or basically maybe something recently like a breakup or disappointment in work or something like that that made you feel like the world was against you I'm not saying that bad things haven't happened I'm just saying that the truth is that's not all that's happening and it's not a judgment on your worth or somebody actually not, or spirit not actually caring about you because that's just not true. Spirit is unconditional love. It always cares about you. Um, um, so really you're being called to call yourself back and reel yourself back in and understand your value and understand your worth by that negative talk not happening in your head so much. Bring your ideas to life. This is all about get going. Cardinal energy. It's alive. Bringing that 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 um, lightning bolt down in to imbibe it. Make the choice. Set the pace. Yes. Understand. Understood. If you've experienced a lot of failures or a lot of rejections, there is an energy of. But clearly, I'm not being supported. But that's not what's clear. What's clear is that. I heard a quote the other day, and I think it's really important. And, and I know as a Cancerian, Sun and Moon and Jupiter and Libra rising, it was very hard for me to swallow because I like to get people's support. I like to feel people's um, feedback and and them caring about me. But there was an there was a quote that said, "The people who succeed are not are the people who decide there's no other option." So in other words, failure isn't failure to them. It's just another step and they just keep going. When they've made a decision to get that husband or for me, write that book or get that career or buy that house, there's th that house. There's no, there's no other way that things are going to go. Somehow, some way they're going to figure out how to get from point A to point B or even point A to point Z if that's how long it takes. Um, and so... This reading, this truth that's coming out on the full moon to expand your mind and broaden it, to, you're really cutting yourself off by making a decision that the world is against you and that no means no because it doesn't. It doesn't. Not in terms of your career and your goals. No does not mean no. It means, okay, where do we go from here? Make the decision. That's still my goal. Um, life is a mystery. The mask is falling off. And that's your central energy. So it's like the mask is falling off, the shell is falling off. What, what are you truly underneath, right? Underneath all that you pretend to be every single day, what are you truly? And there's a huge truth that's gonna come in. And I do believe it's almost gonna be that lightning bolt of realization, uh, um, realization not just of self-worth, but of direction. Uh, believe in yourself. I Like the cards plopped right in front of me. This reading is all kind of set in my head. You don't believe in yourself. You really don't. And in doing so, you end up uprooting anything that you planted because you abandon it because the seed hasn't hasn't grown yet. Because um, it's, it's, you know, the wonderful part about planting seeds is that the planting of the seeds itself is something that is beneficial to us. But I know we want to see our, our seeds grow. Even if the seeds that you planted aren't growing, plant more, plant more, plant more. 
Keep planting until one of them sprouts. Make a decision, I am growing a tree. And keep doing it. And along the way, if, you're, if your first seeds didn't grow, what do we do? We go and study and we learn and we find out, well, why didn't they grow? There is a sense of this lack of confidence, this lack of self-belief, almost making you feel, making being the source of what's really making you diminished. It's not that spirit isn't supportive of you. Um, freedom is yours. Freedom of you, hopefully freedom is yours from this feeling of <sighs> worthlessness. Uh, this feeling of not believing in yourself. I really honestly feel like there's going to be a major awakening coming to Cancerians. Because I've been seeing 11-11 everywhere. And be playful. There's going to be a breakthrough this week. I think that that's the good news. It's almost like the energy crown. You, you may not even be seeing it coming up because you feel so sort of dejected and like a loser. But there is a major breakthrough happening and it, I think it's going to break you from any chains. What is it that you're really having problems with? Where is it that you really felt stalled? There is a huge crack and a break. And I do believe that that spirit coming in and saying, I'm here to help. I'm here to balance things out. I'm here to equalize things. This is a loving nature. This is a loving card. This is a, what do you mean I forgot about you? I didn't forget about you. I've been thinking about you a lot. This is Libra energy. This is um, sort of a um, a messenger, a delivery, um, a messenger of love, a messenger of goodwill, good tidings, um, a messenger of communion, communion. Uh, the Holy Spirit was a dove, right? It, it, it's a sense of connection and connectivity. So even though we may start out the week feeling completely disconnected, there's something coming through to reconnect us. Snake, time to heal. It's time to heal any of those broken wounds. It's time to heal and get away from, be liberated and feel free um, from those sort of demons that are holding you down, holding you back and making you feel intoxicated or poisoning you. Those the thoughts that are, that are poisoning you. There's going to be a liberation of, from them. Like somebody opened up the window and they just purged themselves out which by the way, please do sage on the new moon. That will help. If there's any negative energy floating around, there's going to be a liberation from it. Just cast it out to make room for the new. And here you get your confidence back. I love this story. This is really interesting. This is a lot of cards though, I have to say. Your confidence is being returned and restored. Uh, something has come through for you. Uh, I think it comes in the form of a message or an offer. Um, that basically heals these wounds and puts out that fire, that 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 snake that's been poisoning you. You're going to get a sense of your vision and your focus back. Give it about four days. Let it shine. Peacock energy. Spotlight. People listening to you. People hearing you or people picking you. People seeing you. People picking you. You can overcome any obstacle and love is all around. So you're going to get a lot of support. A breakthrough. That's what this is. This is Taurus energy. It's very supportive and it's very progressive, but it's grounded as well. So this time around, it's not just going to be the dreams and the hopes. It's going to be the dreams and the hopes accompanied by some actually grounded progress. Um, this could be in terms of traditional institutions. Maybe somebody's going to be making you a job offer. But at the same time, it could just be um, major breakthroughs. It could be major breakthroughs in inspiration, in, in creative projects, or um, what people are saying about you and how people are talking about you and the way that you see um, the way that you see people's temperament towards you. Be fearless and bold. In other words, by the end of this week, there's a turnaround of energy. We're going to be, it's going to let up for us, Cancerians. Uh, in the next seven days, but and I, I really do believe it has to do with this, um, this, this shift, this change, this message, and this opportunity that's coming in for us, and it, it, it's got to do with that point that, well, what's holding us back kind of energy, it, it's got to do with that, and I don't know, because that could be, that could be different for a lot of us, but it would be that sort of Achilles heel point in our lives, um, Love is all around. Be fearless and bold. Sometimes this is about letting somebody know that you love them or loving yourself enough to accept that somebody loves you. So this is about accepting compliments. By the end of the week, be willing to accept compliments, even if you don't believe that they're real, even though if you think they're too good to be true. 
They're actually not too good to be true. This is a sense of truth transcends illusion. Some of us want to stay really emotional and hidden and, and you know, hidden under the water and, and stay safe. But I think we're being asked to please come out and be fearless and bold. Do not stay stuck in your emotions. This is Aries energy right here. This is the energy of come out. Come out and um, sort of... Um, be brave enough to hear what somebody else has to say to you. Be brave enough to accept the compliments that you're going to be getting. And maybe if it's not compliments, maybe if, if, if somebody wants to even yell and scream at you, be brave enough to engage in that. Be brave enough to listen, but at the same time, stick up for, your, stick up for yourself and stand up for yourself. Because there is a sense of maybe ego getting in the way of not letting you see the truth about a circumstance or a situation. So Cancerians, we'll go over into the extended. Let's do it. Um, the link is below. I will see you over there.